It is officially Monday morning and as usual, I am on a new rotation today. I am a bit tired from the weekend, even though it was my first full weekend off essentially in like three weeks. And you've seen on my last video how hard I was working the last three weeks. And I mean, I was dying for a day off. Okay, that's a little exaggerated, but you know what I mean. And also, as you may remember from the last video, I played golf yesterday, I played 18 holes with the boys, which was a ton of fun. We had a blast. We got there super early though, so I woke up at like 5.15 on my weekend off and played around the golf till like 2 p.m. And then, as usual, went to bed late. So, it's on me now, but I had a lot of fun this weekend. It was a much deserved, semi-relaxing weekend. Now I have one week until I have a full 10 day real vacation coming up. But first, I start a new rotation like I mentioned prior and I'll tell you what it is in a second. So as you probably know, but oh, remember my locker? The lock is working fantastic now. Well after I broke into my old one and put a new lock on it, but that's neither here nor there. So as you know, we start a new rotation every single week, and today I will not be wearing lead all day long because I'm in the CT room all day and the rest of the week. So the CT room is basically where we do all, not basically, it is where we do all of the CT guided procedures ranging anywhere from deep pelvic or abdominal biopsies to deep pelvic and abdominal drain placements, or even lung biopsies, or pretty much anything you can get to with CT guidance, we can do. Anywhere you can place a needle within any part of the body, we can pretty much get to under CT guidance, which is kind of why I like it. The other reason I like it so much is because I don't have to wear lead all day, like I said prior. It's just, I don't know. It's when you wear lead all day long for all these procedures, it starts to wear on you and it starts to take a, a toll on your back, your paraspinal muscles, your legs, your especially like your calves and anterior tibialis musculature. You, uh, it's hard to explain. If you wear lead, you know what I'm talking about, but when you don't have to wear lead for the whole week, so much nicer to just put on that surgical gown, not put on lead before it, it's amazing. So I happen to love CT and when I'm on CT because I don't know, it's more like bread and butter IR. And when people think of IR, they think of draining abscesses, which is only a fraction of what we do, but it probably may be the most common thing we do. So far on the docket today, we just have one, yes, one pelvic biopsy, which I haven't even looked at the imaging yet, but you better go look at the imaging now, go check out the patient, consent them for the procedure, do all that stuff that we do before every single procedure. And then we'll probably get a ton of add-ons later on in the day because that's how it works. On the weekends, nothing really gets done, especially non-urgent abscess drainages or biopsies. So I'll basically have to pick it up today and do all the stuff left over from the weekend. And obviously, I'll bring you along for the ride, show you some cool stuff that we can drain and we can get to under CT guidance. And I'll probably tell you every single procedure I do this entire week and probably describe in detail. And also maybe educate you all about CT guided procedures and all that we can do under CT guidance. This is our CT scanner where all of the magic happens and where all of our CT guided procedures happen. We have our table over here, which I'll take a look at shortly. We have obviously the CT scanner right here where the patient lays or lies. And then we have the anesthesia machine if needed. All right, so our CT table is actually set up pretty similarly. We have our gowns, which we wear obviously, lidocaine, scalpel, the usual setup here. 
Kelly clamp, needle driver, scissors, floor prep sticks, towels, four by fours or gauze, a few syringes if we need contrast for some reason, saline, some clips, tegaderm for the dressing at the end, a marker and a grid, which is very important because we put a grid on every patient and we do a pre-scan and then we mark it with the marker so we know where to make our initial incision or placement of our initial uh, needle or biopsy needle. Then of course, sterile gloves and that's it. Okay, so I've officially done two procedures so far this morning. I did a, what did I do? Oh, I did a pelvic abscess drain, which was pretty straightforward. You just go in anteriorly on the pelvis and just guide a needle down under CT guidance, put a wire in, put a drain over the wire, good to go. Second one I did was a pelvic mass biopsy. It went pretty smoothly. However, the patient literally basically punched me because they were in too much pain. So I had to stop the procedure early. Got some good samples, but you know, I wasn't gonna force someone into getting something against their will. So we stopped it early. Third case I'm about to do after I had a little lunch here, a little avocado, oops, where is it? A little avocado, bacon, turkey wrap, and of course, seltzer. And next I have a chest tube I'm gonna place. I don't know why. They can't do it on the floor for some reason because the patient is in critical condition. Whatever, so easy under CT guidance. Stick needle in, put the drain in, and hopefully that's it for the day. All right, and it has been another long day up at the CT procedure area. I was in there all day. It is now almost 8 p.m. After getting here, it's 7 p.m. I only did three cases, two hepatic tumor ablations under CT guidance, and what else did I do? Oh, I did a liver biopsy too. So that officially concludes this week on CT, and I'm trying to rush right now to meet up with Andreana because she took the bus all the way uptown to meet me halfway so that we could walk home together. Isn't she just sweet? But the real reason is we haven't seen each other in like five days because she's been in the Hamptons on a work retreat. Now she's back. We get to see each other. I'll go see her right now. We'll say goodbye in the vlog here. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram if you don't already, follow me on TikTok, and I'll see you all on the next video. Look who I'm coming up on. Wait a minute, look at, look at, look at, look at.